If you consider kind of creating the blueprints of a house, like we help to do that work, but for medical devices, making sure that folks are looking at it from a system perspective. I get to collaborate very heavily with the technical side, but also work with marketing, work with clinical, work with human factors. It allows me kind of this level of exposure at a system level that I really, really enjoy. I remind myself of like why I'm here um, and the greater mission. So it's extremely, I think, valuable and rewarding for me to be a systems engineer. I grew up in Southern California for most of my life. So my sister and I were primarily cared for by our grandparents. And my paternal grandmother actually died prematurely due to complications resulting from a manual surgery. And so I think it was in that moment that I realized, you know, my situation is, is not unique. And so I think it was really important that moving forward, I was able to kind of bridge the connection between my purpose in life with my purpose in work. For the longest time during my schooling, I was so set on being pre-med. You know, it wasn't until you know trying to get a blood draw during my undergrad years and almost passing out that I realized, you know, maybe maybe being a surgeon isn't the best um, fitting career for me. Um, and so I knew that you know I had an engineering degree under my belt. I was curious as to you know what industry experience looked like. I think what I am and continue to be pleasantly surprised. At that is Johnson Johnson's commitment to innovative work. I feel pretty important and pretty cool knowing and trusting that we're not just going to be working on, on things that already exist, but really trying to make a very impactful difference that people out there probably can't even fathom today. I want to make sure that no one has to go through what my grandma did uh, during her surgery.